Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I color grade in Final Cut Pro. So when you're first starting out with color correction and color grading, it can be a little difficult because a lot of people will just throw on LUTs or lookup tables, kind of like it's Instagram or something. And then when they watch it later, they're like, oh man, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to break this down into a couple different steps to help you get your videos where you want them to be. So let's go to Final Cut Pro and let's get this started. All right, guys. So once we are in Final Cut and we have the clips loaded onto the timeline, the very next thing we're gonna do is take this color board effect and we're gonna drag it onto our clip. Mine's already in there. You can see it up here in the inspector tab. So once that's open, you're gonna hit Command and seven on your keyboard and it's gonna open up this scale. Really quickly, the bottom portion right here, that's going to be the shadows in your video. This is going to be the highlights and everything in the middle is pretty much going to be your midtones. If you come to the right side of the screen under the exposure tab, you have all these sliders here. So you have the master slider, you have the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Basically what you're gonna do is slide these up and down, adjusting it as you see fit. And always keep in mind that there's no real correct 100% of the time go-to way to adjust your exposure and your colors and everything. This is all what you think is right for the video because after all, it is your project and you know what you want it to look like. So the first thing, what I usually do is I try not to go above 100 for my highlights and below zero for my shadows unless it's absolutely necessary more often than not I'll never have to go below zero for my shadows But sometimes I will have to go a little bit above the 100 mark for my highlights So just be careful with it because you can see if you go too high you lose all that data right there You can see all that uh, digital noise now in the shot and that's not at all what we want for this project So I'm gonna bring it right about there and then I can increase my midtones a little bit. Maybe right there. So that looks about good as far as the exposure goes. Now I picked this clip as an example. I want all this red in here because there was like this neon light in the side and I wanted it to kind of light them up. But for example, let's say for some reason there's like this yellow or this green tint in this shot, there's a red tint. To get rid of that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the color tab. So I typically start with the master slider and you're gonna click and drag until we get the slider to whatever color we don't want. And you're gonna drag the percentage down until it's out. So I like this because you can see there's a little bit of redness here um, in the background in the sky. So if I bring that down, it's gonna bring that blue back into the shot. And then let's do the highlights. So let's select the highlight slider, move it over to the red, and take it down to get rid of it. So now you can see it's a lot more natural. Um, you essentially eliminated all of that redness that was in the side of his body. So this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. Um, the, the exact opposite could be done too. So let's reset the colors here. And let's say you wanted to add some uh, yellow. So you could just take the master slider over to yellow, increase it, do whatever you think you need to do for this shot. So here we are in our next clip and let's go ahead and do the same thing. So with the clip selected, we're gonna drag the color board effect onto it. Hit Command 7 and it's gonna open up the scale. And this one's a lot brighter than the first one. It's got a lot more detail you can see right here and so this would be another really good example for um, exposure and color correction. All right, so again, we're gonna start with exposure. Um, I'm gonna bring the highlights down a little bit. In this instance, I would like it to stay on or about at 100. And then my shadows, I might want to bring it down a little bit more. So you can see right here, it goes below the zero mark just a little bit, but I think that's fine. It looks good to me. Uh, Midtones are actually kind of perfect, I think. I think everything is lit up well. So there's not much I need to do for this clip. 
I'm gonna hit Command-7 again just so I have more space to work and I can see what my project's looking like. So I actually really like the colors of everything. I don't really have a problem with anything going on right here in the shot itself. So I'm gonna just go ahead and mess with the saturation. Right there. I like that because it doesn't really do much to his skin tone. It doesn't give it some weird tint it actually adds a little bit more life into it. And I like how the hat really popped out there as well. Um, so with saturation, if it's, if let's say the shadows are oversaturated, drag the slider down, drag the slider up, and just mess with this until you get the desired effect. So now that we have the two shots color corrected, we can go ahead and move on to the grading process. The way I like to do that is I will go ahead and click on the browser tab right here and I'm gonna go to my titles and I'm going to select an adjustment layer and so now this is gonna cover the project so the two shots are in two totally different lighting scenarios right so we got one that's rather dark with a little bit of neon light and then we have one that's really lit up from every angle pretty much so for the sake of consistency, we're going to add the same LUT to our adjustment layer, and then we'll adjust it as necessary. So let's go down while you're in the effects panel, and under all, we're gonna go to custom LUT, and drag and drop it to your adjustment layer. And now from here, we're gonna select a LUT, and just for the sake of time, let's go ahead and just throw some random LUT on here. And with the mixer slider here, you can decrease and increase the intensity of the LUT which you're throwing on. Let's go ahead and move over to our next shot. Because this adjustment layer is above both of these shots, it's gonna apply the same grade over this one as well. Personally, I like the blue in the background here because it adds more of a cooler tone but you're more than welcome, again, to adjust it as you see fit. So let's say I didn't like it. I would just cut the adjustment layer where this clip starts, and I wanted to increase the intensity of the LUT, then I can go ahead and do so. Let's see, that's a little bit too much blue. Maybe about right here. So before the LUT, after the LUT. And I really like that cinematic kind of feeling you get from this. Additional tip, if you want to add another uh, adjustment layer on top, you can then add a letterbox. And that's going to give us those cinematic bars on the top and bottom. So just select the aspect ratio and boom. So let's watch this without all of the effects. And with the effects, same thing over here, without the effects, and then with the effects. All right guys, so that's pretty much a basic tutorial on how to color grade and color correct in Final Cut Pro for beginner filmmakers. As you keep practicing, you'll find better ways to do it, you'll find more efficient ways to do it, and you'll start to develop your own style and your own signature for your videos. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you see, and I'll see you guys in the next one.